Hey guys, it's Ed from edgejunk.net. This video today is going to be a little different than my normal videos. I'm hoping to kind of start a series of kind of in-shop, everyday kind of like what I do. I won't necessarily post these every day, but just different little projects that I do during the days that I might not necessarily make videos of. Um, and kind of show you guys step by step how I do things, what what a day in the Ed shop is like, and that's what this is. These vlogs are going to kind of be like. I hope to do these on a regular basis for you guys to enjoy. Um, today, just to make vlogging a little easier, because I don't like the idea of having to move cameras around um, to get different shots. It kind of, to me, it feels like it's going to slow me down. So I want to use uh, a microphone boom stand that you normally see like it can move around and attach a camera to it so I can move it around my bench and easily get shots and talk into it um, without having to do too much work. I just grab the camera and move it. So that's going to be today's video, so check it out. All right, so I'm going to take this boom stand. I got this off Amazon. I'm going to open her up and see if we can't attach it to this camera. My guess is it's not going to be as easy as just screwing it on. So we'll probably have to come up with something. All right. Pretty simple. Um, moves around the, the bench quite a bit, kind of the way I was expecting. Obviously, this camera mount isn't going to fit right on this boom. Um, I believe these are quarter inch by 20 threads on cameras. That's the normal thread size. This is not. Um, so we're going to have to come up with some type of adapter to put it on there. But then that's not going to give us the full range of motion. But it looks like there's a, an adapter where you put the microphone at um, that actually threads onto here. Let's thread that on. That gives us more range of motion on the end. So I want to try to get the camera to mount on this piece. Let's pull this off here. So now we just need to make an adapter. I'll probably 3D print this is my guess. Um, we want to make an adapter to get this onto a quarter inch by 20 thread to mount the camera like this. All right, so now I'm gonna design a part. I'm gonna basically use uh, Autodesk Inventor. Um, you can do the same thing in like 123D as well. Um, very similar basic tools, but I'm very familiar with Inventor. Um, we're just going to make a bracket that's going to slide slide into uh, this groove, two bolts up into it, um, which I'm going to go get out of my drawer here. And these two bolts are going to slide up in here, like so, if you can see it. Again, my video work will be better once I get this project made so I can maneuver the camera a little bit better. It's a little harder when it's all by yourself here. Um, they're going to bolt up into a bracket like that and then slide this quarter inch by 20 bolt will then slide into it and then into the camera. You'll understand more while I draw it into the computer and luckily I got a screen recorder here so you can kind of see how I go about doing this. So uh, let's give it a start. So I'm going to get this exporting out, um, save it, and send it over to MakerBot, have it print out in plastic, and uh, get that done, and then let's go ahead and put it all together. All right, now while that's printing, uh, that part, I want to look at another uh, problem or issue I do have with this. Um, this boom has an XLR cable running through it. Um, that's great for microphones, that's why this thing was made. For me though, I want a USB cable running through it. I could kind of maybe cut the end off of this and then put a USB end on it. But I don't know, I feel like the cable is just too, too high a gauge for that. So what I'm going to do is cut this cable off, get rid of it, I don't need XLR. And then I'm going to run this long mini USB, sorry, micro USB cable through this just like this was. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this yet. Let me get some tools. First off, I'm just going to get a cutter. I know cable guys will hate me, but I don't need this XLR. Now, I'm kind of wondering if 
I should use this cable to pull the other one through, but I think we'll be fine. I always say that, and then you realize later, hey, maybe you should have left that in there and used it as a fishing tape, or a fishing guide, you know, to get it out. But, I didn't, so here we go. I'm hoping I can just push this micro USB end uh, through this, but I'm afraid, yes, it's slightly too big. What's good is I can solder on another USB end. So what I'm going to do is cut this off, it's gone, and then we're going to run this back through this and push this in. And now look at that, it came out of that end. So it came out of here. So let's just pull that, of course, probably get the parts out of the way. That in, and then we'll continue to go through this, like so. And then out of this end. I'm sorry guys, the video is a little blurry. Um, like I said, it'll be much better once this project is done, because this is exactly what the project is for. Better camera angles. All right. Now that I've got the cable to run through this, it's time to add the USB the other USB end back onto this. I cut this one short because I'm not going to reuse this end. I luckily have um, a few male USB uh, solder, something that so basically we can easily solder these to that. Let me grab one, I'll show you guys. All right, so now we're going to solder this in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use these automatic wire strippers. These things are fantastic for stripping wire. Um, I'm going to take just a little bit off this so I can get down to the actual wires, the USB. Um, You've got red, black, green, and, and white on um, USB cables. I really only need the red and black. That's what sends the 5 volts down the line um, for charging. That's all I'm really going to use this USB cable for. Alrighty. So there's that. Let's see if we can get in here and focus. There it is soldered up to the USB. I hope I got it in the right orientation. I believe I do. It is not pretty by any means, uh, but it will do the job. So as you can see, it slides in quite nicely. The bolt does um, in that slot. It's much bigger than the old one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put the, put the bolt in. Let's get this. Be real tight fitting, but once you get it in there, there we go. As you can see, and we'll just push that all the way in. The holes down there, this slides in, and the holes will line up, as you can see there. Right, here's the piece. As you can see, the uh, bolt is in here. That's going to be what mounts to the camera. And this part here is what mounts to the boom. This is what came with it originally. Um, we just made this bracket here that's so that it would slide in there. Um, and the bolt on top, the hook to the camera. Let's go ahead and hook the camera up and get it on the boom. We've got the piece and it's going to mount right here. Like so. It's going to be easier to go ahead and put this on the camera now. Um, so let's go ahead and thread this onto the bottom of the camera here. nice tight fit okay that is how I want it and then this will screw onto here just like it did when it is how it came factory let's get this lined up here let's plug the charger in got the charger plugged in I'm gonna go ahead and plug the uh, power brick into it as well you hear that wonderful chime Plug it in. There it is. Turn it on. And there, the lens is now out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record on here and then I'll put the video up of what it sees. Camera boom's holding up really well. Um, 
I don't see any problems with the weight. Uh, this was kind of my first concern. Maybe the camera would be too heavy and want to bring it down. But I know microphones can be quite heavy too. So it's built really well. What's great about this is I can kind of put the camera wherever I see fit for what I'm, you know, filming at the time. Like, oh, I want to maybe come down here and bring it down like this. You know, it's you can place it exactly how I want to. So let's say I'm working on something here. Oh, this is good here. Now I'm like, oh. Let's come over here and look at uh, what's going on on this, on this side. Now I can say, oh, now I'm clipping a wire over here. Bring it up. Maybe I want to shoot, you know, maybe a shot down of the whole thing. And now I have a shot down. And it holds it up really well. It's pretty stable. Obviously, you know, it's going to move a little bit. Um, when you're positioning it, I wouldn't exactly use this for like smooth like um, camera jib shots. But for placing a camera quickly... Um, for what you're trying to do or work on the bench, I think this is a great option. Maybe it exists out there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, here it is. Well, guys, that's my first video blog on my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these, hopefully. Uh, just seeing how things go around the shop. I want to try to put each project that I do through the day on my channel for you guys. I can't guarantee I'll do every single one. But these just little projects that I would not normally do videos on, I'm going to kind of do these unrehearsed you know videos for you guys um, this one came out really well I'm, pretty, I'm quite pleased with uh, how stable the camera is it's uh, pretty neat um, it's gonna hopefully do a lot more uh, for my channel here soon as you can see like I'm showing video here want it from this angle I can throw it here real quick but I want to bring it over here and quick change the angle and there it is it's changed again uh, oh now I'm doing something on my desk we can put it down and now I'm doing something on my desk and guys, I'm going to go ahead and upload the STL file that I made this bracket for. Also, some lists to uh, these products on Amazon. I'm not getting paid by them to put it there. I just thought maybe, hey, for anyone else out there doing YouTube videos, uh, shop videos, maybe this would be helpful to you. If this already exists and I just built something that I didn't need to, you guys, comment below. Tell me. I kind of looked quickly for it. I couldn't find it. Um, another idea I had, which would be really neat, is I want to make a, a larger scale version of this for my digital SLR so I can almost put it anywhere in the shop. Kind of like in doctor's room offices where they have that, that surgical light that attaches to the ceiling and they can position the light wherever they want. Same idea, but with uh, an SLR throughout my entire garage. Uh, right now it's just on a tripod. kind of gets annoying when I want to put it in places and it's always in the way, but it'd be great if I could just grab it, position where I want, grab this, position it where I want, and start filming. But guys, that's it for my first vlog. Comment below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, what I can change, what I can make better. I'm trying new things with the audio cameras um, and just information. If there's anything I'm leaving out you guys are saying too much of, let me know, and I'd love to make it better for you guys. Check out my other videos. I have a, a lot more uh, different videos on my channel. Um, no more vlogs. This is the first vlog, but I'll be doing more uh, throughout the uh, coming weeks, months, hopefully years, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Subscribe. It helps me a lot, and I will see you guys in the next uh, Ed's Shop vlog.